We all get a brief window of opportunity on this planet. And while you're catching up on sleep this morning, consider this. There's a snail out there right now, risking everything to cross the largest desert of a sidewalk it's ever seen. Why? Because it beats hiding in its shell at home. Or maybe it was inspired by every snail that ever successfully reached the other side. I don't know. I'm not really sure what motivates a mollusk. But I do know this. No snail has any idea what's on the other side of that sidewalk. All they know is that they have a shell that can be cracked. And maybe not the best reaction time in the animal kingdom. But still they go. On the off chance they might actually connect with something greater than themselves. Maybe become one of those snails that inspires another snail. Now you may say this is dumb. Snails don't surf. Well, neither did any of us. Until we did. And I will take care of you. I show my gratitude to those people that helped me. And there aren't many left to betray me. Capiche? Yes, Mr. Salieri. I'm glad. Today I'll give you a chance to get back at those bastards who wrecked your taxi. We'll see what you're made of. Morello has a bar where all his gorillas go. They all have their cars parked behind the fence next to the bar. If you're good, they won't be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> Paulie will go with you just in case. Go see Vincenzo for equipment and Ralph for some wheels. Vincenzo is the Don's gun expert. They've known each other since they were kids. He gets you whatever you want. Tommy guns to cannons. Vinny can set you up. I always pay him a visit before a job. Buono giorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Paulie. This here's Tom. Just started up with us. Pleased to meet you, Tom. What can I do for the both of you? We got a job to do. We need something to write off a few cars. This classic piece of sports equipment should do the job. And if not, I've mixed up a few cocktails. Careful with them, though. Thanks a lot, Vincenzo. Bring back the bat. It's my nephew's. Sure thing. Ralph, I'll introduce you to, is a complete idiot. But he's got a special way with cars. I don't doubt how such a moron could know anything about anything. But that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> a v v v v visit. How you all doing, Paulie? Hey, Ralphie. Yeah, I s s see you're still limping, so we got two cripples working here. That's right, but I ain't a fool. Um, uh -huh. Ralph, this is Tom. If you bring him a stolen car, Tommy, I'll make it your own, and no one will know the difference. Ralph, Tom and me have a job to do. You're supposed to have some wheels for us? Right. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> It ain't no hot rod, <laughs> but it should really do for you. Thanks, Ralphie. Let's go. So that was quite a long cutscene, but uh, yeah, we're finally back. And uh, during that cutscene, I was thinking, you know, what game do I prefer, this one or Mafia 2? Now, I'm going to have to choose Mafia 2. Even though I love this game, I do prefer the 1940s and 50s style of Mafia 2 over the 30s style of this one. And also the first half being set in that snowy environment just won me, won me over completely. Uh, and also the, the gameplay is just easy to get the hang of. I mean, the driving in both games is quite hard to get used to at first. But um, at least the gunplay in Mafia 2 was a lot more user friendly. And I'll show you what I mean by that later on in this video, if you haven't played this one. 
But I just think Mafia 2 had a bit more charm to it. Especially the characters, you know, like Joey and Vito got on, you know, really well. They had great chemistry, those two characters. And uh, definitely fan favourites, and I can see why.